Hi, I will guide you through the process of testing a Windows Server 2012 R2 application. First, we add an application profile in the Microsoft Platform Ready site for the one we plan to test. We fill out the application name, version, label it as a production application as well as all the required fields. We choose Windows Server 2012 R2 as the platform used by our application. If our application is already compatible, choose today's date as the target availability date. We should now carefully read all the Get Started section before we download the test tool. Once we're ready, we click on the download link under Test My Apps. We should make sure to click the appropriate competency level. Each competency level has different requirements and they should be taken into consideration when performing the test. Proceed to download and run the test tool. These are some considerations to take into account when setting up the server core in a virtual machine for this test. Feel free to pause the video to read them. Links to the Windows Hardware Certification and Guide for ISVs with Drivers can be found on the Windows Server logo website. Note that the prerequisites listed above cannot be disabled or changed during the test. IP version 6 is not required to be used. Users must not be prompted to disable it. Final considerations about the server core test. When taking a test on server core, the final test results package will need to be created on full server or Windows 8.1 to pull the server core completed test results. Testing on server core should not be a last minute gold level test consideration, but a sure application is fully compatible with server core and associated support for those customers deploying server core. When server is properly configured and you are ready to start a new test, select the Start New Test button. Enter a test name and select the tests you will be validating for. Note that the advanced tests are not required for certification and are intended for app competency partnership levels. The next few screens verify that all prerequisites are met. Click the Verify link. On this pop-up, the actual system configuration status is compared to the required configuration. Pass or failing is indicated by green or red colors. In this case, NetBIOS setting is not disabled. Click the Launch NetBIOS setting button to temporarily change these settings. The MPR tool is recommended for use during application development cycle and will not block testing if a prerequisite fails. This means failures will be allowed to continue, though tests will be marked as failed. You must provide your setup or installation files. Click Add to provide a single or multiple folders for all your application installation files. Do not remove your installation files for the remainder of the test and do not place setup files in any Windows system directories. For applications which do not use installers such as web apps, select the No Radio button. Click Next to continue. The test is green lighted to continue and so far marked as Pass. No more changes to system configuration or application folders beyond this screen. Any changes to prerequisites will fail the test. Several times throughout test, you will see a progress bar indicating a system state snapshot is being taken. 
This may take anywhere from 10 minutes to over an hour for complex installations or large volumes. Please do not make changes on system during this time. Now is the time to install your app or copy your solution to the test machine as a customer would. Any application requiring a reboot will fail the test. Reboots are not welcome and rarely required today. If a reboot is required, there must be a valid justification such as a Windows limitation, a boot start driver, etc. The administrator must have complete control over this reboot. It must not be a forced reboot at end of installation. Note that starting on this screen, you may click to see a preliminary report at any time. Drivers are validated for Microsoft Signature indicating passing of the Windows Hardware Certification Tests for Windows Server. Note, this is a hard requirement and cannot be wavered. Applications with drivers which are signed for both Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows Server 2012 and pass all tests will receive a certified for Windows Server 2012 logo as well. Note that this screen appears only for applications which include drivers. A reboot will be required at this point if the application installs driver. Log back into the same user account, launch the MPR tool, and click the Resume Test button. Selecting Test and clicking Next will advance to where the test left off. Click Yes checkbox if system was rebooted for driver test and the system has remained stable. If a driver has crashed during a reboot, you may have been presented with a text-based screen with information about the crash. In that case, the test will automatically be listed as failed. It is time to exercise your server components. This can be done on the same server with included installed admin or configuration tools or with Internet Explorer. When functionality testing is complete, click the Yes checkbox and Next button to complete testing on all machines used. If server component ships with and requires client components, we should do the following. Feel free to pause if necessary. If advanced tests were selected at test information screen, you will be prompted to validate your required packages. On this screen, you will be validating all the management tags that ship or support your application. On the left, select a management pack file and on the right, select a folder containing reference management packs if required. Please pause and read the following note regarding advanced tests, if appropriate to you. At this screen, add resource definition and resource extension packages to validate. Clicking Run Checks button will also provide green or red icon indicating a validation can occur and appear in report. Red icon will provide additional failure information. Whether or not advanced tests were selected, the tool will now prompt for uninstalling your application or solution. Select Yes checkbox and click Next when complete. Know that reboots should be postponable until test is complete. The questionnaire should be faithfully answered and covered by the signed agreements. When partnering with Microsoft for certification or application competency. Click Next for a final system state snapshot. Overall test status is represented here. During development or when failing the test, the cycle is test fix test. 
Certain failures resulting in third-party binaries may be reviewed and granted a waiver. Links are included for downloading the waiver document, which must be complete before any waiver petition is reviewed. Click Next to review report and complete the testing. A link is provided for the report for review. After launching the report, the tool may be closed. The test is complete. The reports are located in the Public Documents MPR directory. To see the full path to the test results package to upload to Microsoft, click the Reports button. Once we get that file, we need to upload it into the Microsoft Platform Ready site for our application profile. So at the MPR site, under Test My Apps, for your application profile, find the button to choose and upload the file. Next, we should type in the marketing support and catalogs URLs. It's very important to provide accurate information here. A validation team will manually verify these links. Now we'll click Next and go through the payment process. During this process, we'll be provided an invoice. We recommend saving this invoice for future references. You can download another copy from the Summary tab in NPR next to the Technology Test in the Invoices section. This concludes our video tutorial. We hope it helps you in attaining your desired competency level.